even though we may not yet be using laser weapons and freeze rays. Police and military technology has advanced to a very astonishing level. Some of the technology they employ isn't simply futuristic, it's outright absurd. So, let's take a look at some of the most cutting-edge police technology that you won't believe actually exists. From a car with a built-in web shooter to an automatic robot surveillance snake, almost the entire world came to a standstill as a result of the COVID-19 pandemic. I broke out in a cold sweat at the sound of the tiniest cough from a bystander to stop the virus from spreading. However, Chinese cops had a crazy trick under their sleeves, or should I say, on their heads. They wore cutting-edge helmets that could detect body temperatures up to 16 feet away from a person. The helmet was created by a Shenzhen manufacturer and was initially intended for number plate and facial recognition. However, the temperature gauge turned out to be the feature that was most beneficial. It alerts the wearer audibly and visually when someone nearby has an unusually high temperature using an infrared camera and augmented reality software. Furthermore, it is capable of scanning large crowds at a rate of up to 200 persons per minute. Thus, it would be quite helpful in a pandemic. However, when technology is this fantastic, it always has a heavy price tag. You might want to think twice before gifting your COVID-conscious grandmother one of these helmets for Christmas, considering how much they cost, a staggering $6,680 each. We all know the reason why chicken crossed the street. What about the remote-controlled flying road spikes, though? Yes, they exist, and are employed by law enforcement agencies all around the United States to halt evading cars. They operate in a manner similar to conventional spike strips, puncturing the tires of a criminal's vehicle. However, they are neither as sluggish or as difficult to install as conventional spike strips. These ones, produced by Dina Systems, however, may be launched at the touch of a remote control. Simply install the case by the side of the road and wait for the ideal opportunity to fire. Then, when the vehicle gets closer, simply shoot. This implies that not only are the spikes extremely quick to set up, they are also far more difficult to see by any approaching driver. But that's not all. Eric Spencer, who came up with the idea for the Spiky Boys, actually developed it as a method to save lives. You know, placing regular road spikes is a risky task since you risk being struck if you move too slowly. In actuality, over 20 officers have been killed in this manner. The remote-controlled spike strip was created as a result of Spencer's efforts to come up with a safer substitute. It's true that it's named the Dina Spike, but that name seems more like a D-list wrestler than a helpful police tool. Clowns terrify some people, while spiders terrify others. The massive, 20-ton riot control system from Bosna Security System scares the heck out of me. This monster is a beast, no doubt about it. The enormous contraption may seem like it belongs in the most recent Transformers film but it is in fact very real. Rather than changing into a talking robot, it was made to shield police officers from riots and other potential threats. Behind a massive 24 feet fireproof and bulletproof barrier on the front, up to 38 officers can take cover. In spite of the vehicle's size, it can fit in any street, and if necessary, fully block it off thanks to its ability to extend and contract. Additionally, the barrier could be raised up to 10 feet in the air, allowing policemen to emerge from below like some sort of police army. However, it's not just a wall with no teeth. It contains weapon ports that allow officers to fire everything from rubber bullets to gas and smoke grenades through it. Further, it has cameras, loudspeakers, flashing lights, and other equipment found on standard police vehicles. Even if a crowd of people managed to get through all of that, it could still hold up well against the strain of more than 100 rioters pounding against it. It is hence essentially unbreakable. However, I think this is a really violent approach to crowd control. It's literally made to allow cops to fire gas and otherwise harm people. Loudly busting down a criminal's door probably isn't the ideal strategy if you're attempting to catch them off guard. Really, it's nearly hard to detonate something without creating a huge ruckus. Due to this, SWAT teams and police officers have started utilizing a cunning little device known as the Hometro Door Blaster. Without the use of explosives, this ingenious technology silently opens doors in a matter of seconds. The magical equipment is first pressed up against the door. The operator can then take a step back before pressing a button on the controller, because the entire system is remote controlled. 
When they do, a hydraulic mechanism inside the blaster is activated, and compressed air is released from the gadget. Despite producing a lot of power, this method conveniently opens the door without any loud explosions. Okay, so we've just discussed some really large-scale technology, but sometimes the best things are packaged in the smallest of forms. Anyway, the Recon Throwbot 2 is a tiny micro-robot that is only 8 inches long, yet it is tough enough to resist repeated drops from heights of up to 30 feet. It was actually created to be tossed, as its name suggests. However, it's not some sort of overly complex yo-yo. The Throwbot, designed for the military, can be thrown into a potentially dangerous area where it employs integrated cameras and microphones to record real-time video and audio. This is sent to a remote control that the operator is holding, and it aids soldiers in making decisions about their next course of action. Moreover, some models can even be set to detonate, providing a smart diversion. Despite its size, the Throwbot can traverse a range of terrains and overcome various roadblocks. Additionally, it can record in total darkness, and it is also resistant to water and dust. So very little bothers this device. I wish mobile phones were this resilient. That way I won't have to change them this much. Step aside, a new mall cop has arrived, but this one has a lot less human characteristics. The first security robot powered by AI, Nimbo is here. It only requires someone to program its path. Otherwise, this little guy will patrol a building, looking for potential dangers and security breaches on its own. Once configured, the bot will travel along a predetermined path, and using a combination of its intelligent onboard AI, cameras, sensors, and microphones, it will identify any possible illegal activities. When it does, it will go closer, and start blasting out warnings in an effort to frighten off any bad men. Additionally, the owner's smartphone receives live footage of the entire meeting. I know, very cool. It's obvious how extremely valuable this would be for cops, even though they aren't already using it. Even drones can be linked to Nimbo, allowing the entire automated security system to operate from both the ground and the air. Without a doubt, that is rather insane. The robot's ride-on mode, though, has to be its best feature. Yes, you can ride it about, like Blart himself, by climbing on it like a Segway. As it turns out, creators aren't just getting their ideas from Marvel movies. This could appear familiar if you've ever played Halo. It's called the Radiatic Smart Slide, and it transforms a typical portable weapon into a futuristic device. As you can see, a pistol is made up of various parts. One of these is the top slide, which, you guessed it, slides back across the pistol when it fires. As the next bullet is loaded, the recoil is reduced. This is replaced with the Ultra High Tech Radiatic Smart Slide, which has a cutting-edge LED screen. The user may see how many bullets are still in the chamber, and whether or not the magazine has been installed, just like in a video game. All of this is made possible by a unique sensor that counts the number of cartridges in the magazine and sends the data to the display. Despite how sophisticated it is, the premium device has a price tag slightly around $1,000. As a result, the cops aren't currently using it frequently, but given that practically everything these days is digital, I wouldn't be surprised if police enforcement started using it shortly. I mean, it is a clever idea after all. Researchers in Singapore have gone beyond the simple act of designing a device after a snake. They are working on creating real cyborg beetles, or insects that can be operated remotely. In addition to implanting electrodes in their flight muscles, scientists attach tiny battery-powered backpacks on their backs. Through these, tiny electric pulses can be delivered to the relevant muscles, causing them to contract and move the bugs left or right. By increasing the pulse frequency, they can even control how fast the beetle moves. You must think I'm crazy. Several studies involving electrically controlling insects using remotes have been carried out successfully by Nanyang Technological University. Additionally, they are even outfitted with tiny cameras in Washington so they can record all they see. While the video output from such a tiny camera is not currently at best, who's to say it won't improve significantly in the future? A beetle, which is little and unnoticeable, may spy on humans very effectively. It is reasonable to suppose that the police won't send beetles into our homes anytime soon. But if one flies in through my window, I will still panic out even more than usual. I bet you wouldn't rank shields at the top of your list of the coolest technology ever. They seem very simple, don't they? False, a new shield has just arrived and it is quite great. Developed to address every drawback of a conventional shield, the Swift Shield is a bulletproof barrier. 
The Yashimura crease pattern is an original foldable origami design that explains how to make anything lightweight, small, and portable. As a result, the shield may collapse to a size that allows it to fit easily into the trunk of a police vehicle and be quickly retrieved when needed. However, this device isn't only incredibly convenient, it's also incredibly powerful. The shield can withstand close-range gunfire and won't even tumble over, because it is made of not one, not two, but twelve layers of protective Kevlar, the same material that is used to make bulletproof vests. Its finely woven threads have a highly tightly bonded molecular structure in addition to being flexible. It takes a tremendous amount of energy to break these molecular connections apart. Due to their incredible strength, making it incredibly difficult to penetrate the material, in actuality, it has five times the strength of steel. The shield is still in the prototype stage for the time being, but when it goes on sale, I'm confident the entire police department will be interested in it. You could think that this device looks somewhat dull in comparison to the other tech I've highlighted. But you'd be mistaken, boy. Despite its simple design, the modular vehicle barrier is incredibly effective. This portable, lightweight barrier is less than 3 feet tall and weighs only 52 pounds, which is less than several dog breeds. Amazingly, though, 8-ton trucks can be stopped dead in their tracks by it, unless they're going faster than 20 miles per hour, at least. The weight of a truck is astonishingly 307 times that of the barrier. And the most bizarre part, the driver won't get any significant injuries because the barrier prevents the car from being destroyed or turned over. Well, that is entirely due to its distinctive design. The L shape of the barrier is where the magic leaves. When a car hits it, the momentum is reversed and sent downward into the ground, where it has nowhere to go and is virtually entirely absorbed. But it's not the only obstruction in the way. The Heald HT1 Raptor system is another one that merits recognition. At the touch of a button, these chaps can retract, and even at a blazing 50 miles per hour, they can stop an 8-ton truck. Wow, the business responsible for their creation keeps a very tight lid on what makes them so incredibly tough. But apparently it's because of some seriously heavy-duty internal sheet steel reinforcing. However, while the bollards themselves will be unharmed, the same cannot be true for any vehicles that strike them. Iron Man unfortunately isn't real. His suit, on the other hand, though, that technology is genuine, or at least close. This future police and military outfit is known as the Onyx Exoskeleton. The wearable, cutting-edge outer skeleton will transform you into a superhuman beast but won't allow you to fly. This is due to the fact that it greatly supports the user's knees and lower body muscles, preventing fatigue and making any physical task much simpler and safer. Think about needing to scale a high fence while pursuing a quick suspect or hauling bulky materials up a mountain. It sounds exhausting. Not with this bad boy on, though. But how does it function in practice? The Pseudo Super Suit, however, contains unique sensors that capture information about the user's movements and transmit it to a control module at the waist through the user's feet, knees, and hips. Artificial intelligence can use this data to anticipate the user's further actions and respond appropriately. Therefore, when the AI notices that you are ready to raise your knee, it activates local motors that move the exoskeleton to help you. Furthermore, the technique has attracted the attention of military organizations all around the world. To assist them with lifting and transporting heavy goods, the US Marines made use of the Guardian XO exoskeleton in July 2020. However, after watching the advert, it appears to be marketed as a real super suit. I am at a loss for words. While I can't offer you a super suit, I can certainly provide you access to some exceptional content. So go ahead and click the like and subscribe button so you won't ever miss another incredible video again. Have you seen? The Terminator. Robots can be extremely unsettling. So, that didn't exactly make me happy when I saw this four-legged canine robot that the New York Police Department is testing. The electrically propelled dog bot, known as the Digidog, was developed by the American robotics company, Boston Dynamics. Its body is equipped with cameras, lights, and microphones, and can be operated remotely, allowing authorities to survey a potentially hazardous area without endangering themselves. 
In the year 2020, the NYPD used the dog to help them in a number of risky situations, including a hostage encounter. However, as video of the robot appeared online, it quickly became popular and faced harsh criticism. The robotic dog didn't reassure people. Instead, it made them feel frightened and worried that it might be misused and utilized as a violent surveillance tool. The Digidog's potential use as a weapon would not only be a grave threat to everyone's safety, but also their right to privacy. What if the wrong hands got hold of it, after all? In consequence, the NYPD abruptly ceased utilizing the dogs. What do you think, though? Should they be brought back? Or are robotic dog bots a power that should not be granted? Comment below, and let me know. Everyone enjoys a good vehicle chase in movies. Although they make for a fantastic movie spectacle, they are also quite deadly. This is where, the grappler police bumper comes in handy. The clever contraption operates by launching a nylon net from a police car's front bumper. The net will automatically wrap around the suspect's rear tire and stop the vehicle. Leonard Stock must have had a magical imagination, because he came up with the invention of the grappler after seeing a police chase show. Leonard was disturbed by the injustice of the incident because an innocent biker was struck during the pursuit. By 3 a.m. that night, the idea had come to him fully formed as he laid awake considering solutions to the issue. The majority of the police immobilization tools, including spike strips, rely on the ability to approach the fleeing vehicle. Considering how quickly automobile chases typically occur, this is both challenging and dangerous. To avoid any catastrophic collisions, the grappler allows police to halt the car from behind and leaves ample room between them. You may be surprised to learn that some worm species can survive even if they are sliced in half. Actually, both parts have the ability to regenerate into two complete worms. In light of this, scientists have developed a futuristic robot. Say hello to Snakebot. A worm's functionality isn't affected by being cut in half. It is all due to that body that resembles a chain. The snake bot, as you can see, has the look of a snake, since it is constructed of numerous independently functioning links that create a lengthy chain. Due to the fact that these links don't rely on one another to work, the robot can still move, even if a link in the chain is destroyed. Technically speaking, it isn't currently being used on the job for anything, but if a camera were installed within it, its design would be ideal for future covert surveillance. The slim, slender snakebot can crawl up trees and over obstacles, as well as through small areas. The snakebot would be ideal for a police officer who wants to inspect a multi-story structure that may contain criminals. Simply place it down and move it into place with a remote control. It won't require any assistance from humans to move. While James Bond's invisible surfing vehicle is still ways off, we do have the wacky technology required for the subsea craft Victa, the first speedboat and submarine hybrid. With the use of this incredible piece of equipment, special forces may swiftly traverse any river or ocean before diving entirely and sneaking up on adversary coastlines. It has a diesel engine, strong water jets, and can go across the water at over 50 miles per hour while in boat form. It is comprised of incredibly durable carbon fiber, so it can take a hammering, yet a unique foam core makes it lightweight. You can go underwater in two minutes with simply the push of a button. The Victa sinks the ship by effectively flooding its cabin in order to accomplish this achievement. Therefore, diving equipment is required for everyone inside. However, their personal tanks are for emergencies, they are not used for breathing. Instead, the Victa includes a plug-in internal air source that provides enough air to last eight people for four hours. Given that the vehicle can only travel 30 miles on fuel while submerged, this is more than enough time. The first prototype of the Victa was tested back in 2021, and although it is still in the testing phases of the publication of this video, it is very likely that future military will use it. With an $11 million price tag, I'll have to wait till I win the lottery big before I can cruise the oceans pretending to be James Bond. Alright, folks, that's about all we have time for today. Which of those bizarre inventions most impressed you? Many thanks for watching. Please let me know your thoughts in the comments section below.